Hello everybody, Mike here with the Rudder of Wilds Outdoors and uh, today we are going to be backing the bow with uh, rawhide. So see I've cut two strips of rawhide a bit wider than the bow, but you could either make these yourself from rawhide that you have. Uh, I would not recommend dog chews, they've typically been boiled. And you're going to put these in lukewarm water, so lukewarm is a key. You don't want it to be hot, otherwise you'll cook your rawhide. So we're going to wrap these till they fit in there. Okay. And we are going to soak these for say 20 minutes, 15 to 30 minutes until they're nice and supple and we'll be able to move on to the next step which is cleaning off the back and then rinsing these up, casing the, or uh, sizing the bow with a bit of a uh, tight bond three and gluing that on. This isn't quite ready yet. But we're going to do is start cleaning this off. We're going to start with a bit of acetone. Get that. And this will clean up anything on the surface here. also incredibly good at removing any oils. That are on the surface of the wood. I don't, I know you can't see me right now. I'm in a bit of a tight space in uh, side because of the weather. So now that we've got this cleaned, all we got to do is wait for these to soften up, which they're definitely starting to. They're getting a bit more pliable. We're going to give that a little bit longer. All right, so those are sufficiently pliant. So what we're going to do is take and put our sizing coats on here which is basically to um, make sure the wood is absorbing uh, glue where we want it when we actually go to put the uh, rawhide on. not just soaking it all up you can thin the glue down for this uh, i find it just easier to just put the glue on directly myself personal preference
clean up the excess running down the sides. While we wait for that sizing coat to dry. You don't want it to fully dry, you want it to get tacky. And we're going to get out our first strip of rawhide. And we're just going to squeeze it right outside here. Okay, so one. See how that's nice and pliable? Two. Just squeeze you that outside. Let's just check the sizing coat and see how that feels. Want dry hands? Okay, that is tacky. So we're gonna run this first strip first. Obviously get a nice solid coating of glue. All right, let's uh, get this first strip laid. Give that a nice squeeze. Give that a squeegee to make sure you're getting your uh, bubbles out. Okay, squeegee that down. Cool, so you've got that side there done. Nice and squeegee down. The great thing about tight bond three is you don't actually have to work super fast. You don't want to be sitting there forever, but you do have about 10 minutes of working time.
give that a solid squeegee. Okay, and that's closed. So, same as before, we're going to clean up the excess. There's two things left. We're going to take this here. totally are but you are more likely especially with the pressure you're putting on there to uh, tweak the wooden weird ways and finally Last but not least, we're going to slip some uh, weight in there. So yeah, now we're just going to leave this until this is rock solid. Alright, it's practically Christmas now. It's been 72 hours and we're unwrapping the uh, mulligabet. That's looking pretty nice. Eh, a bit over 72 hours. Oh man. Looks like that's some glue leakage. No damage though. So now we're just gonna take and rasp right along this edge here. doing so we're going to slightly trap the back a little bit.
I'm not gonna make you sit through this whole process here. You get the idea. <laughs> So we've got the rawhide roughed out. So the next step is going to be to tiller this. If you notice, I rounded out the handle. I'm gonna be sanding this to finish it up, so I'm not too worried about the drips of glue. But now we got this backed with rawhide, which will prevent splinters from listing, uh, lifting and uh, prevent catastrophic uh, failure if it does break during the tilling process.